Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Before we get started, I just wanted to thank you for all your likes, comments, and subscriptions. I try to get to all the comments that are very important to me, and I really enjoy the input. So thank you. Have you ever had your engraving and you just wanted to make it better? I think all of us struggle with engraving and just how can I take it to the next level? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. There's a mode in Lightburn that's called Fill Plus Line. And it's a mode that takes a little bit to understand, but once you understand how it works, you'll be amazed on how much better your text, your engraving uh, text will be. You can use it on many items that you engrave where you really want to enhance the look. I think once you see that the, uh, the comparison between just a regular fill or an engrave compared to an engrave plus line work, you'll be amazed on how much better, crisper, and more visible it is. So today we'll go ahead, I'll show you where it lives in Lightburn, I'll show you some examples on uh, the settings that I used and the results I got, and before long, your engravings will go to a whole nother level. So let's go check it out. Okay, before we get started with the examples, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the two different modes in Lightburn that we're going to use today to make the dramatic effects on your text. The first mode is going to be the fill command. Standard uh, use, most people use the fill command with pretty good results. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to show you how to take it to the next level. Everything is uh, uh, engraved today at 400 millimeters per second, 60% power. I'm on a Thunder Nova 24 60 watt laser, just so you know what kind of power I'm dealing with. And if I open this layer up, everything's pretty standard. Speed, power minimum and maximum, and that's about all the uh, selections that you have with just the fill command. The next command that we're going to use today to make the dramatic effects in your engraving is called the fill plus line command. And you'll notice when I select the fill plus line mode, this new tab shows up. If I click this tab, now you're going to see that I've got uh, not only setting options for my engrave, but I also have setting options for my line work. This is going to be a, a, a completely separate settings for a tracing on where the, the laser head actually traces the edge of your text and depending on your minimum and maximum powers it will uh, sharpen the edge number one and depending on uh, your settings you can actually get a dark to a black line that goes around the perimeter of your text making it much more easy to read and and pretty striking so that's this is what we're going to play with today and this is where it lives so we're going to be uh, doing the line plus, excuse me, the fill plus line. And then we're going to be coming in and we're going to be tweaking these settings based on what we see. So this is where it lives. Fill plus line is an awesome feature in Lightburn. Let's go check out some examples and see what you think. So let's talk about the parameters that I've done all these engravings with. All of the engraving or the fill is done with 400 millimeters per second and then with varying power levels. So as you can see at 400 millimeters a second and at 20% power, I've got a very light engrave. And what I did is I increased the power going from 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 60. And you can see that uh, as we increase in power, our speed stayed the same. Our engrave gets a little bit deeper and a little bit darker in color. And so right here where that we're uh, going with 60, uh, excuse me, 400 millimeters per second and 60% power under the fill mode, we've got a nice caramel color. Uh, it's nice and deep. Uh, it really is a pretty nice engraving. What we wanted to do is take that engraving or that fill mode to another level. And this is where you can really see the difference between just a straight engraving and once you go to fill plus line. And what that does is 
it engraves your graphic and then after it's done engraving it will actually come and it will trace an outline all of the edges of your text and based on your settings of the line work the minimum and maximum of your line work you can see that you can get some real dramatic effects in just the color of the way your engraving is this is nice but this has a lot more impact to it and you can see this a lot farther. It's a lot more eye-catching. Um, you're going to see in the larger example that, I've, that I'm going to uh, show you, uh, you can really get varying levels of color anywhere from this to something that it looks like it's almost been color-filled. So uh, you can see that just by using the fill plus line mode in Lightburn and adjusting your minimum and your maximum power, uh, you can you can really make your engravings pop. One thing to cover is uh, you'll want to take a look at my uh, minimum uh, value video. Uh, that will give you some insight on kind of how this process works. But in the what happens is when it comes around these long sweeps and places that it has a chance to speed up. The computer will, uh, or the controller, will use the max power setting. The minimum power setting comes in when we have real tight spaces, like the tops of these M's where the uh, laser has to slow down to change direction. Uh, in these corners right here, the laser's coming and coming to a stop and then reversing directions. And that's where your minimum power comes in. So if you're if you do an initial setup and you're getting burns in your corners where the laser is changing direction, it's because your minimum power is set too high. If you're not getting enough burn on the outside of your big sweeps where the laser has a chance to ramp up in speed, it's because your maximum power is not set up uh, properly and it needs to either be increased or decreased based on what you're seeing. So let's go to a bigger example now, and we'll see what it looks like. So in this larger text, this text is about six inches long by about an inch high, and it's just a little easier for me to point out the specifics when it, uh, you're talking minimum and maximum power on your line work. So you can see that we, um, at this point, one thing I will tell you that the your minimum and your maximum power settings for larger text is going to be different than it will be for smaller text because of the amount of energy that's provided into these corners and those kind of things. So don't think that you can just set it and forget it. If you've got different size fonts, you'll have to uh, create settings for the different sizes that you have. But once you get them an idea on what that is, um, it's pretty consistent. So. Um, on this bigger text, I set it at 11.5% minimum, 21% maximum. And you can see that there's not a lot of difference between the 11.5% minimum, 12.5% min uh, maximum. I went up on the uh, maximum from 21 to 23, and there just isn't a lot of difference between these two engravings. The things I'm looking for, is there any burns in these corners yet? Is there any color in these longer areas where the uh, laser is actually using the maximum power setting and you really don't see a lot of definition the only the only thing you see is you start to see a little bit of a dark in some of these corners but there's no doubt that we've got to go up in both minimum and maximum power to start to get the color that we need down here we've gone from 12.5% to 15% minimum way up to 27% maximum and now you can start seeing the color You've got some color in here. You've got color in the bottoms and the tops. You've got some color in these corners. Um, but there's still a lot of areas that don't have any darker color. And so we can still see that um, we, we probably need to uh, go up in our maximum power for sure. Um, our minimum power is probably going to be pretty close. You can see right here we've got some dark color. We've got dark color in the Z. We've got dark color around in the period. Um, so in this particular case, I went from minimum uh, 15 down to 13 and a half just to see if I could change it, and it didn't really change much. So in our next set, we did.
this is where we're really starting to get some good color. So I took my minimum up to 17% and my maximum up to 35%. And you can really see now we've got a nice dark color all the way around the fonts. We don't have any burning in the corners. Um, it really starts to set this engraving apart. And so it looked like to me that we were getting just a little bit of burn in these corners. So I backed down the minimum from 17 to 16, but we weren't getting enough color. Uh, on our big sweep, so I jumped up our maximum from 35 to 42. And this is where we ended up with. So we've got nice color all the way around. We don't have any corners that are burnt. And look at the difference between just a normal fill and a fill plus line. Huge difference in the way that text looks. So give this, uh, this line mode a try. Uh, you'll be amazed. It might take you a little time just to play with your settings and, and get used to what you're looking for. But once you do, I can tell you that this is a much more visible uh, font from a distance than this is. And you can see that you can actually see how deep this engraving is compared to, you get a sense that this is into the wood, but you really can't tell how far. This text really has some depth and dimension to it. Well, as you can tell, if you take a little time and learn the fill plus line command in Lightburn, get your minimum and maximum power dialed in, you can have a dramatic effect on your engraving. Once you learn how to do this, I think you're going to find all kinds of uses for it. Sometimes it's just uh, that little extra crisp edge that makes a world of difference in your engraving. As always, I hope this information was helpful. I would really appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, comment, let me know. I've got some new uh, audio equipment. I'm hoping that makes a big difference in the auto audio quality. And until next time, thanks and have a great day.